economistas más influyentes del mundo. Conversamos con él hace un par de días, enseña en Colombia, enseña en Harvard. Es picante y habla de Argentina a fondo. Con ustedes, Jeffrey Sachs. I think the uh, paradox of Argentina is that if you took the fiscal statistics of Argentina and compared them with the fiscal statistics of the United States or of a typical European country, and you put a blindfold over the names of the countries, you wouldn't say that Argentina has anything unusual in the budget deficit, in the debt, in uh, the level of uh, tax collection to GDP, in the rate of spending. Uh, Argentina would look completely normal. But then uh, you take your hand off uh, the cover of the name and Argentina has uh, essentially uh, 100% inflation and with the same fiscal data, these other countries have 5% inflation. Mm. So this is uh, the first point that a true objective analysis should grapple with. Argentina is not suffering from irresponsible fiscal policy. It's a paradox. Uh, even Argentine friends can't believe it uh, because Argentina is always told uh, the spending is wild, the fiscal policy is extravagant. It's just not true. And I just reviewed the IMF data uh, moments ago, uh, the World Economic Outlook data. And what I'm saying can be found by anybody that goes online to IMF.org and looks at the IMF data. So there is a strange phenomenon. The basic phenomenon is Argentina lacks all trust in the international capital markets, not because of fundamentals, but because of all the confused history of the country and uh, many bad policies imposed on Argentina as well. Mm. So, of course, the IMF should be creative right now. Uh, I hope that I can sit down with IMF economists myself and point out these basic facts, because the idea that what Argentina needs right now is fiscal austerity is simply not true. What, I, the, what Argentina needs right now is normal financial relations with the IMF and with the international markets. This is the strange point. Argentina is living a continuing self-fulfilling crisis. Mm. It's a crisis because nobody lends to Argentina at all. And then Argentina is constantly in crisis because nobody lends to Argentina. Mm. And why is it in crisis? Because there's no access to the debt. Why is there no access to the debt? Because Argentina is in crisis. So this is uh, basically uh, the self-fulfilling crisis scenario that we all need to help Argentina to overcome. Mm. What role do you think the IMF plays in, in, in political terms in contemporary capitalism? I mean, uh, there are people who benefit from this recurrent crisis, people here in Argentina and, and people abroad, and the IMF uh, plays a role by organizing the needs and, and, and wills of many of those people. How, how, what's the specific role do you think it has? I don't think the IMF is, for example, intentionally driving Argentina into continuing crisis. In fact, I'm pretty sure that the opposite is true. And in general, the IMF uh, has a, a rather orthodox approach to economics that means that the kind of paradox that I was just describing is not very clearly in the view of the IMF. And self-fulfilling uh, financial crises are not very clearly in the view of the IMF. And I've 
made this point for decades, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, when an international financial crisis hits, the IMF prescribes austerity, typically. But usually the problem is in the financial markets, not the fiscal policy. Uh, the problem is that, say, a country has a, 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 a negative credit rating. Uh, and then uh, because of that, the country is not able to refinance its debt falling due. Then it falls into a financial crisis. Then the IMF says you need austerity. But the starting point was not the fiscal irresponsibility. The starting point was, in that example, the credit rating agency. This happens a lot. The credit rating agencies play a very uh, consequent role in the international system. They are often a self-fulfilling prophecy because when they downgrade a country, that country often falls into crisis, not because the downgrade was a prediction, it was the cause itself of mm. the crisis that came. If a country loses its credit access, you can be pretty sure that the country will go into a kind of default because even routine refinancing of debt suddenly becomes impossible. I'm afraid the IMF has never really gotten its hands around that phenomenon. Mm -hmm. uh, now, there's, there are other aspects of IMF political economy, the most important of which is uh, that the IMF is at 19th Street and Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington. And the significance of that is that the White House is at 16th Street and Pennsylvania Avenue. So the IMF is an extension of U.S. power to an important extent. Lo corté ahí porque...